Hi guys, my name is Harshit and you're watching Digital Sensory. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and DB. So if you are looking forward to learn more tricks and tips in DB, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. This way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now let's get started with this video. Hi guys, in this video, I will teach you how you can integrate font or some icons to your DB WordPress website. Now this method is also applicable to any kind of WordPress website even if it's not using DB. So the method to integrate font or some icons in your WordPress website remains the same. So let's get started with this video. First you need to go to your font or some website. So as you can see that this is the website. Now when you go to your website you'll see a button which will say get started for free. So you have to click on that button and you'll be taken to this page. They are giving you a free option to enter your email and then they'll send you the integration kit code. So here you have to enter your email address. I'm entering my email as follows. Now once I've added my email, I'm clicking on send kit code. And as you can see that they have sent me this code. Now I need to go to my email to verify my email first so i'll go to my email and you can see that the email is arrived and i'll click here to verify it now once it's verified i have to enter a strong password so that my free account is created on fontawesome.com website now once i have added a strong password i need to enter more details like my name and why I'm using font or some icon. If you want, you can also skip these options by clicking no thanks, let's skip this. But I'm entering this and I'll click on next. Now, as you can see that once you are logged in using your free account, you'll see this thing which says copy kit code. So you just have to copy this code and then paste it in your DB website. Now where to paste it, let me tell you. So first you need to go to your DB theme options and then you need to go to integration tab and in your integration tab you have to add this code to the header of your website now since i'm using db theme i'm adding this in the theme options header if you are not using db theme and if you are using some other theme then you have to add this code in the header of your website as well you just need to make sure that you are using some plugin to do it or doing it manually by editing the headers.php file so since DB theme gives you this functionality of adding a header code directly, I'm using this option. Now let's click on save changes and congratulations. You have successfully integrated the font or some icons to your WordPress website. Now let's understand how to use these icons to your WordPress website. So first we need to go to the font or some website to select any icon which you want to use. So I'll go to font or some's website and I'll click on icons in the top and there will be various icons which will be provided here you need to copy their name if you want to use them you must see that there are free versions as well as paid versions both so select free version if you are having a free account like me and then select any icon which you want to use i'll double click this icon and i'm taken to this page where i can select the size and as well as various other things now i'll click on start using this icon so as you can see that they have given me a code which I have to copy. This HTML code will be added to the place where I want to display this icon. So I'll click on copy HTML and I'll go back to my DB website and I'll create a new page. You can also add it to an existing page but for now I'm just using a new page and I'll give this page a title and then I'll click on use DB builder. Now once your editor is loaded, you can create a new section where you want to add this. So I'll click on build from scratch, I'll create a new row and I'll add an element in which I want to add this icon. Now once I've added the text module, I'll first remove all of this content because I don't want this to be displayed. I'll go to the text tab here and I'll paste this text here and as you can see that the anchor is appearing here now now if you want to add any text in front of that then you can do that here and as you can see that the anchor as well as text is available here now if you would like to change the color of this then that's also a very simple process so i'll save the page 
now I'll go to DB theme options and then I need to add a class and some code to make changes to this so here we have to add a small piece of code now let me show you the code first and in order for you to make some changes to this code let me explain you how it's working so this thing here is basically the class of that particular icon which you would like to change so if you want to change any particular icon you can use the icons name as that class like if I'm taking this icon you can see that FA anchor is my main class of this particular icon and there is another class added here which is FAS which is common for all the icons which you use so if you want to change all the icons of your website to the same color then you can use this code which says dot FAS and the color can be added here in the hex form or in any other color code form which which is accepted by the CSS if you want to change the color of a particular icon then you need to replace this thing with the icon name so in my case the icon name is FA anchor so I'll copy this and I will replace this with my icon name now I'll copy this and then I'll paste it in my theme options so once I've added that I need to change the color now so to change the color you can add any color any hex color code so if you are not sure how to pick a hex color code let me show you search for hex color code on google and you can go to any one of these links all of them provide you the option to generate any hex color code so let's say i want to go with this color so this is my hex color code i'll copy this i'll go back to my theme options and i'll replace this color with that now I need to add a hash icon before it now when I do that I just need to click on save changes now I'll, now I'll go to the page and see if the icon color has changed so let's go to our pages and let's go to the page which you are looking for so I'll click on preview and you can see that the color of that icon has changed in the same way you can change it to any color now if I use an FAS class here which was the common class for all the icons which we use then all the icons which are present in my website from font or some library will have this color now I can even add more of these properties here like padding right padding left you can do all of those things here so this is how you can integrate font or some icons to your WordPress website so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and fill in the contact form. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. So before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I'm giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot more. So as you can see, I've already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.